In this video, we will learn how to export data from Ninox. We will cover exporting the entire database, as well as only data from a table. We will see which export format options are available in Ninox, and we will learn how to share a view with external users. So let's start. You can either export an entire database or data from a single table. How does this look in practice? Let's try to export the entire database. On the Ninox Start page, click the top right corner on your database icon. The pop-up gives us three options. To rename our database, to create backup, or to delete our database. We will choose to create a backup of how this is what we want to do. A new pop-up is asking what the backup should contain. By default, Linux will include exporting data, files, and comments, giving us an option to add also a history. Click OK. Now let's choose the right manual backup we want to download and press the button Download Backup. Please know that automated backups cannot be downloaded, they can only be restored. OK, now we can see our database is in the downloads on our computer and the format is .ninox. Great, we have exported our entire database. Good job! Let's check now how to export the data from tables. Let's choose a relevant table. Click on the gear icon and choose Export Data. Exporting from table views means that filters, groupings and additional columns as calculated data will be exported as well in the output file. So basically you will export what you see on the table view. Here we can see Export Wizard and we will now set our fields. By default, the header is included in the export. We can choose a separator, text quotation, also line breaks. This is um, relevant for Windows and for Mac OS. If you are using Unix, then you will need to select LF. Also, we have number formats and character set. And we can download. We can see that our table view of the company table is downloaded as a CSV file. Here we can see it. This is our CSV file. Great! But we can also see that we can export this data also as an Excel. It's more straightforward. We will only select to keep number and date format and we will also choose to download. And here it's our Excel. Amazing! But let's explore what else Ninox is providing us. Another amazing way of exporting data option is to share this view. Activate the sharing. 
There are numerous situations when using this functionality is going to be very handy. For example, when we have an external user who does not have access to our database and we want to share with him or her a piece of our data in a particular format. That can be HTML, PDF, Excel, CSV, or even JSON. So our public URL, it's activated. And now let's choose, for example, JSON. Here it is. Amazing. We can only choose PDF. Also great. But what happens if we deactivate the sharing? We can see, after refreshing the browser, this view is not available any longer. So if we deactivate sharing of the view, users are not going to be able to see the content via the link we shared with them. In this lesson, we have learned how to export the entire database in the .ninox format, how to export data from the table as Excel or CSV file, and also how to share a view via a public URL. Congrats! Ninox.